Headed on a road trip, let's go, let's go Washing every town we dip on the past You're in charge of the tunes Okay, this is our camp from where we are at the moment She is a little bit tight but it is beautiful Back onto the water down here there is another campsite right beside us. Like I said before, it is a little bit tight, but it's so worth it. It really is worth it. I mean, really, waking up to this, how can you not appreciate that? And there is a little bit of a privacy screen there anyway, but we just had a nice little chat with the people next door to us and we're well, fine. Thank you. Hey everyone. We are at the near the Ungulla National Park. It's about an hour inland from Mackay. And have we found an absolute gem for you. It is incredible. Here we go. Platypus Bush Camp. Now she is an absolute beauty, I have to say. And I actually saw my first ever live platypus in the wild today. It was beautiful. Just swimming around in its little brook. Now, there's not a great amount of space here. It's a little bit tight, especially if you've got a larger caravan. I mean, ours is a 20 foot six, as most of you probably already know. And you can pretty well see how we've slotted into this little spot. There's another few spots. I'll just go down because I don't want to disturb the people that are camping at the moment. That's another caravan spot. So there is a couple of caravan spots here. There is a lawned area. Now just up in front of me is the communal fire pit. And then there's a little track down there that goes to a platypus viewing area. You have the first one of a couple outdoor kitchen undercover because you have to understand we are in the rainforest hence there is rain quite regularly. Now I'm going to take you for a walk down to the main office and the main camp area that you have full access to as well as a swimming area. So, here we go. We'll go for a wander down. Here we have the owner, Shane. Say hello. <laughs> now you'll see the office here and there is um, firewood available through the office. Naturally being a protected area, you don't want to be going out and getting anything from around the bushland and the rainforest, because that's not cool. They have a nice little caravan empty caravan here for rent and they also have some really cool accommodation in here it is all self-contained anything you want you have to bring with you so just keep that in mind there is no restaurants or anything like that it's fully natural look at this beauty massive big tree fern up the top there and here we come to the ladies' toilets. The facilities are really, really, really clean. So, I mean, everything you want in a toilet, obviously, there isn't anything that you don't need in a beautiful setting. You can't beat this setting. Footpaths, if you come in here at night time though, you will need a torch because it is quite dark, obviously. You have the men's. And here you have the showers. We found these to be quite fun. We actually had a shower here last night. And yeah, this is a, a, a real bush shower because you walk in the front door, the door does lock, so you do have privacy, but this is your shower view and you're right beside the toilets. But you do have a screen that you can put down if you're a little bit worried. The bathroom next door, same thing, another shower. There is hot water, 
All you have to do is ask Shane and he'll get the donkey going for you. That provides the um, hot water for you. Now if we keep going down, just follow the path and you'll come down to the office, a little woodshed and the donkey for the hot water. Now is this or is this not absolutely incredible? I, I am in love with this place. If you want to just hang out down here on a humid day or a cold day rugged up and just lays around you can. This is the office. They do have a couple of little amenities there that you can purchase if you need to. Beautiful little hut upstairs. I'm not, I think the plan is to eventually rent that area out. He's still working on that. Now here's the main camp kitchen. If you're staying in one of the tree houses, everything you need will be right here. Pots, pans, cooker, kettle. You can cook yourself up a good feast, just naturally clean up after yourself. That's the most common thing, obviously. Nice little sitting area out here as well. Absolutely love the swing, nice and comfortable, listening to the water. And the swimming hole. Not too far away at all is where you can go swimming. Listen to that water. I don't know if you can hear me much over the water now. And here we go. Is this not one of the prettiest pools you have swum in? Nice pretty little creek. Now apparently they have seen platypus swimming up the top end up there in the stiller water. And every now and again, if you're really lucky, you'll come up this way. But as you know, should know, platypus are extremely sensitive little creatures and they don't like a lot of people around them. So they are shy. They aren't going to come out and say g'day, but that's okay. Show a little bit of patience and a lot of quiet in the platypus viewing area, and you might be lucky enough to see one. Now, we're going to head back up. I'm just about finished. I don't want to drag on for too long with you, but like I said, I'm in love. This place is just, oh, does me. And look at that. There's a little fireplace in there for winter. So I'd imagine it would get quite cold in here. I could just see sitting in here on a cold night, having a couple of drinks. We sat around last night with a few people and just had a good old yarn. It was great. But look at this. You take the other path and there are little tree houses. They have mosquito nets and stuff, so you don't have to worry about the bodies. But how awesome is this? Can't go over too far because there are people in a couple of them. So I don't want to go too close and disturb them because it's pretty early in the morning. But it is just incredible. So there you go. That's the quick tour. Hope you've enjoyed our review of this place and we'll catch you around the traps. See you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, here we are at um, Angola National Park, uh, Finch Hatton Gorge. And uh, it's about a 2K walk there and back to the, um, the first part, to the uh, Rawlins Cascades. We're now walking up to the uh, Finch Hatton Gorge lookout. Whew. Track's pretty good actually, it's not too bad. It's all pretty pretty level, but it's uphill. Um, well maintained. These rocks seem to be all the same, so I reckon they brought them in just to purely to get rid of the water off the, off the track, I guess, but it's a bit of a climb though. We're going to the first part, we, the second part's about four Ks, and um, my back's not been real good lately, so um, we're just gonna go to the first one and have a look, see how we go. But this gives you an idea of their track on the way in. And uh, we'll go from there. We're too old and broken, yeah, apparently.